Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. And again, good morning. Hope everyone is doing well. Welcome to another Marion Trainer Live. We're here to keep things simple, motivate, and inspire. So, and again, that's where we get started. We talk about a few sponsors of, of the show. And the one we're going to talk about today, which is I talk about all the time, Pink Lotus. Women, you don't have to suffer in silence. Check out Pink Lotus. It's a host of products to help you out, help aid you in any issues that you may be having concerning menopause, weight loss, weight management. Again, that's Pink Lotus and it's MaryTrainer.com. Click on the link Pink Lotus. And the second one we will be talking about quickly, uh, and that's Identity Q. And I'm going to tell you this. As I have told you before, don't think it can't happen to you because it happened to me. Check, click on the link. They have a free trial. They will monitor your credit, monitor anything that's going on, and they will alert you and let you know to keep someone from uh, basically screwing up your personal life with your finances and all. So check it out on MarionTrainer.com. Click on the link, Identity IQ. All right. And of course, I don't know if you all have seen it, and this is maybe the Mary Trainer Healthy Family Recipe. We have a promotion going on. If you like and you share it, we will gather your name and we'll be giving out one free recipe ebook. So check that out. Click on the link. And also look at the promotion that we have. You go to MaryTrainer.com, click on shop if you want to immediately buy it yourself and not be in the promotion. You can click on that. And click shop, and it's an ebook download which you can convert to a hard copy. All right. And another thing I want to uh, thank you all. Uh, one more thing I'm going to say, and then I want to go into uh, what's been going on with the men's muscle and fitness uh, contest. Uh, we want to educate, to participate. The 12 module course I have, and it is a CEU. Uh, I'll put some more information out this week about it, but it's on board. 101.com forward slash Marion Trainer. Again, that's on board 101.com forward slash Marion Trainer. Check it out. It'll be in the links. There'll be a link down there for you to check it out. And also, what we have as far as the contest, and I want to thank everyone who has been voting for me. I really appreciate it. I moved from six all the way to top three, which puts me in the top five. And this week, I love for you to keep on voting. You can vote free every day, every 24 hours. They have to be 24 hours go by, and you can vote. You can also donate to the Wounded Warrior Project. Uh, check it out, and it's going to a good cause as far as Wounded Warrior is concerned. And every dollar amount that you uh, you donate, I get a vote. So if it's ten dollars up to two hundred and fifty dollars, I get a vote. And partly during the week, I'm not sure if it starts on Wednesday and they usually make the cut on Thursdays, it, you get two for one. So make sure you check that out. All right. Without further ado, we are going to talk about today's topic, which is self-sabotaging. What is it? Why do we do it? And, why, and tips that you can prevent yourself from stop doing it. And what self-sabotaging is, it is the act of preventing yourself from succeeding at whatever it is you are trying to accomplish. Self-sabotaging is a pattern of thoughts and actions that creates an ongoing problems that also prevent you from moving forward. Again, self-sabotaging. A, a lot of people out there do it. Uh, some continuously do it. And, and part of the... The most common self-sabotaging behavior is procrastination, self-medicating, whether it's alcohol or drugs, and comfort eating. And if any of you out there can can relate, you can uh, you can you can send a message because there is help, but you have to recognize that you need help. And a lot of times, even with the sm smallest thing of trying to Get on a new exercise program. You tell yourself you didn't do it, and then, and you get on a new uh, nutritional program, and you basically like, oh, I'm going to eat this cake. I'm going to eat this, and you self sabotage yourself, and then you get down on yourself real hard, 
And then you have to ask at the end of the day, is it really worth it to put yourself through this mental anguish of self-sabotaging? There are better ways to accomplish your goals. Self-sabotaging yourself will destroy your goals. It will put you in a situation. It can put you in a dark place. And I've talked to people who have done it. And also it starts out with the little things of complaining. And anytime it it gets to a point where you can move forward, you always do something to impede your progress, stop your progress, interfere, get in the way. And you look for other people to enhance that feeling of self-sabotaging so you actually feel good about doing it. So for all those out there who have someone, whether it's a family member or a friend, do not indulge with them. Because it only puts a, it only, and plus it also, you can get caught into that and, and then it be, starts to be stressful for you. So you have to make them more accountable to what it is that they need to do to stop self-sabotaging themselves. And just giving you kind of examples, I could have self-sabotaged myself when uh, when it was time for taking prednisone, which is one of one of the anti-rejection medications. And I could just say, well, I'm taking prednisone. I could just eat whatever. I could have sabotaged my progress of staying in shape, trying to uh, be healthier by just saying, just eat whatever. Well, that's the medicine doing it to me. I'm just going to do it. That or whatever. That would have not have been great because then it could have caused more problems for me. So you can all have things that we face and you can tell yourself and put, put yourself in a situation where you recognize. And that's the first thing. You have to recognize that there's an issue going on because sometimes self sabotaging yourself is down to the minuscule of things like, okay, I need to go. I need to get up and cook me something to eat. I need to go out clean this room out. I need to go out, cut the yard. And then you do things like, well, I'll get to it to tomorrow. And you'll keep putting it off, keep putting it off. And even with your own job, you have a project you need to do and you keep putting it off and you keep complaining about it until you do nothing about it. And that's on the road to self-sabotaging. And life does not have to be that way. You, If you have been contemplating and self-sabotaging yourself for more than a year, then you probably need to seek the help of a, of a therapist and there's a lot of them out there. Um, one that I know of is Smart Touch. Uh, she's really good. Um, I've helped numerous people that I know of. And then you have uh, Eva, uh, Dr. Eva Server. She's out of Charleston. But she does do uh, online, uh, FaceTime, Zoom. She does do uh, virtual, as we all call it. That sums it all up under one umbrella. Uh, virtual counseling. So. If you need to talk to someone, don't be ashamed because if your life is, if you look back at your life, if you, you made plans or goal, set goals and you're still in the same place where you set those goals, then you might need to think about talking to someone because it's not going to be healthy for you in the long run. It's just going to make you keep doing, it's, it's going to put you on a cycle of repeating. It's good to talk about it, but what are you going to do about it? And if you are feeling that helpless, that you can't do anything about it, talk to someone Get professional help. There are people out there that can help put you on track. And sometimes you might just have the type of friends that say, Hey, I'm with you on this run. I'm not going to I'm not going to enhance or I'm not going to support you self-sabotaging yourself, but I'm here to give you truth and honesty. You know, pick yourself up by the bootstraps. Let's get it done. Let's go ahead and make things happen because you can do it. You just have to not put yourself Continuously put yourself in a dark place. And we all know we we are in a time where everybody's, you know, there's something going on. And be it where, where it's your job, be it personal relationships, you don't, it doesn't have to be the worst. You don't have to make it the worst thing that's going on with you. You can get, you can get better from it. You just have to recognize it. And that's one of the toughest things for people to do is to recognize when they do need help getting out of a rut and self-sabotaging yourself it it doesn't make sense in the long run because it's only going to keep you stuck and when i say about it's just like the sport of bodybuilding fitness figure anything it takes for you to transform yourself it is going to be hard it is going to be tough you're going to have days where you want to give up and it really is hard trying to give a hundred percent of yourself every day it's very hard 
because it can be repetitive and sometimes repetitive can seem boring. But if you have your eye on the prize, you know what it is that you want, stay true to that. Don't let anybody get in your way. And I'm big on staying away from negative people. If they're not celebrating you, then they're tolerating you and you don't need those kind of people in your life. So remember, if nothing else, self-sabotaging is not the way to go. You have to recognize why are you doing it? Is it something that stemmed from your childhood? Uh, is it something that stemmed from something traumatic that happened to you? You have to recognize those and understand why you're doing it. And again, surround yourself with positive people who are going to uplift you. But at the end of the day, the responsibility is yours. You have to take responsibility for making yourself better. Don't, don't keep putting yourself down and telling yourself, okay, I'll start tomorrow or I'll start at the end of the week or, you know, in two months, I'm just going to get better. That is, a, that is a surefire way to fail. And failure is never a bad thing. Failure is always something you can learn from. But you have to put yourself in a situation where you can succeed. At least in a, give yourself a good positive outlook. You're not going to be positive 100% of the time. You're going to have some dog days. And that's fine. It is okay to not have a great day every day. But once you recognize, I can get up. And have every intentions of what I feel I'm going to do in my day. I'm going to get up. I'm going to prep, prep myself for what I need to do for the day. Think about training clients. Oh, I'm going to go to the gym and work on myself. And then I get a flat tire. My whole day is like turned upside down. What do I do? I can either bathe in the misery of what that has, what that has just made me feel like or... I can get on the phone, call everybody. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take care of this right here first, and I'll call you, see where you're at, and we can make things happen. Solution-oriented. That's one of the ways that you could put yourself, in a, put yourself on the path to succeeding, is that when you have those dog days, if something comes up, work around it. Work through it. But by all means, don't stop and be so hard on yourself when you really start on the road to self-sabotaging yourself. It's not going to be healthy for you in the long run. I can guarantee you that. And when someone, when you hear, my, you have heard my stories, be it from the car accident, the head-on collision car accident, or be it from the kidney transplant, or even when I was, you know, to, to get out of a car transplant and then go back to bodybuilding, that was tough. But it was worth it. For what I accomplished... After that, it was nothing short of a miracle, a blessing. And I can tell you, and that's pretty much why I'm here now, to inspire and motivate you and give you the simplistic solutions to some of the most hardest things in life that you have to even think about. And as I have said, the hardest thing you will do in life is to work on yourself. That is the hardest thing you will do because... To look at yourself and give yourself an honest assessment of what it is that you have to work on to be better for yourself. Because once you, once you work on you, helping others will be a cinch. Because you've been through it. You've been through those trials and tribulations. And you've been through that moment where it's like, oh my gosh. Like, just something simple. The toughest thing for people, and they, and they make these goals all the time about it. I need to drink more water. I need to drink more water. And yet you don't. There's another, that's another self-sabotaging situation because there are great benefits for having water in your life. Some people say they don't like drinking it because it has no taste. But you'll drink Coca-Cola. You'll drink all those sugary drinks that you know in the end not going to make you feel, might make you feel great at first because you get a good energy burst. But in the end, it's not going to be, it'll be detrimental to your body in the long run. Water it can only help. It can't hurt. You don't need to drink so much of it because that's the biggest thing everybody want to know is how much should I drink? Well, studies and studies have shown 0 0.8 times your body weight. That's what you should be drinking. But for others, if you exert yourself more, then you should probably be drinking more. So kind of that's kind of a start starting point. 0 0.8 times your body weight. That's what you should be drinking at H2O a day. 
water. And remember, hydrogen and oxygen, it makes up H2O. So again, whatever it is that's holding you back or making you self-sabotage yourself, stop it. And if you can't control it, find help. Talk to someone who can help you get through it. Preferably a professional. Someone can give you exercises. Someone can give you a good perspective. Maybe give you a different perspective than you've already thought about. Because it is tough sometimes trying to improve yourself. Get to the next level. But it's worth it. Don't, don't, don't get in a comfort zone of just being, of creating bad behaviors. Because once you get comfortable, well, to me, in my mind, my opinion, once you get comfortable with anything, you might as well say you're just dead. You're just on two feet, eyes wide shut. It's not worth it. So I hope this resonates with you all. I hope this makes you realize that, you know, in order to stop self-sabotaging myself, do create little small goals. Little small goals build you up for the big ones that also put you in a position to want to be better. And if you want to be better, you have to do the things to get better. I share my stories with you to let you know if I have gone through it and I did it, so can you. One foot in front of the other. One step, one moment. And as I was told long and read a long time ago, if you can't fly, run. If you can't run, walk. And if you can't walk, crawl. But by all means, keep moving. Keep moving. Because the minute you stand still, that's when everything just probably starts happening to you that you don't want to happen to you. Be the person you were meant to be. Stop wallowing in your mistakes. Stop wallowing in your failures. They only are mistakes and failures if you don't try to correct them. And you can correct them. Believe in yourself. Surround yourself with people who believe in you. No one said life was going to be easy. I'd be the first to tell you that it's not, but also to tell you there's some parts of life you're going to be glad that you went through and you kept moving so you can feel excited. And you can feel, wow, this was worth it. This was worth it. Why not? And as always, I say thank you for all who come on, sharing this journey with me. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to go vote for me. And listen, the Mr. Muscle and Fitness is about, you get a two-page article. It's $20,000, which for me, it'll be about investing and also donating to kidney research because that is near and dear to me. Look, you must work towards something. This is something I'm working toward. I hope I can get your help, your votes. Please do. The link will be up. And the link should already be up. All you have to do is just tap on it and it'll say Wounded Warrior. You can donate to there if you want to. And if you just free vote, I really do appreciate it. Currently, I'm in third place, but I'm shooting for first. So I'm not going to self-sabotage. I'm asking for the help. I'm not too proud. So anyway, you all have a wonderful day. And remember, take care of yourself. And most of all, take care of each other. And remember, you don't make a mistake don't have to be the final chapter of your life. And at the end of the day, I'm going to always say this, and I hope it resonates with you. If not you, then who? If not now, when? I hope you all make the best of this day. Uh, going in tomorrow to Memorial Day. Do what you have to do so you can do what you want to do. Y'all take care.